What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR. So in this video, um, I just wanted to share how to get the TMP submachine gun in the Resident Evil 4 Remake Chainsaw demo. So in the last, I guess, 12 hours, somebody discovered how to do this. I don't exactly know how, uh, but it's real simple. All you gotta do is before you get to the village gates, before you enter the village, discard everything in your inventory, get rid of everything in your inventory. And then um, when you enter the village, you're gonna go to the right side. Try to sneak past, there's usually a, a lady, if you go directly to the right, there's usually like a lady who's coming down that um that side. So kind of watch out for her let, her, let her pass you first. And then there's gonna be a well on that right side. If your inventory is full, or, if, or rather if there's anything in your inventory, the well is gonna be covered. But if your inventory is completely empty, the well will be uncovered and then you can go down into it. And then inside that well, there's going to be uh, a replacement knife um, and the TMP submachine gun. So this is really cool. And this is why I love the Capcom team that works on Resident Evil because they could have just done a regular demo and that would have been fine. But they've included a few secrets in this demo, which I think is really cool. Um, once again, I'm not the first person to discover this. I'm literally just sharing this. Um, I'm Trust me, I'm not experimental or smart enough to dis to discover like a secret like this in a demo. I would have never even thought they would do this in a demo. But what it's and it's a really cool gun in in in, in this uh remake because me personally, I wasn't a fan of the TMP in in the original game. It it, it had a, you know, it it was for crowd control, but I don't think it was a weapon really worth using. Um, because the the, the, AI, the AI wasn't that good in the original game, of course. Well, it, it was it was proper for its time, but you know the zombies were slow, so you could always just you know walk away, shoot enemies in the head. But now, in Resident Evil Remake, the sw the the swarm of enemies are bigger. The AI is smarter. They move faster. That they flank you. So, yeah, the use of a submachine gun is way more useful in this game than it was in the than it was in the original game. Um, you know, when I first played the demo and got up to this part, I was like, damn, they moving fast. They grab you for longer. You know, they they chase you farther. farther. So I was like, damn. So uh, I go in here to trigger the cutscene because I'm like TMP and shotgun. I definitely, definitely want that combo. So I, I'm still not sure if the full game comes out. Will I use the, maybe I'll use it, but I don't think it's, I don't, I, I'm not sure if it's still worth upgrading. Um, at least not the first sub, uh, at least not the first submachine gun. The one that, that you get after it, I don't even remember exactly what it was, but um, the better version of the submachine gun, I might wait until I get up to that part to, to use that. But I definitely, definitely won't upgrade it or anything like that. A lot of those first upgrades are kind of pointless anyway. And... <laughs> Just a tip, if I'm not mistaken, the best way to jump out of a window in this game is to is to do a running jump. Like if you if you're running and then you press X to jump out the window, he'll just do like a, a jump and tuck and roll out the window and you'll still have a little bit of momentum rather than be stuck in that recovery, I think. So as you can see, this what's what's great about this TMP is obviously the fire rate, but you can put all these enemies in stun so so easily because it fires so fast you usually it's like game usually guns like this they don't cause i, I would say they kind of nerf the stun even with shots to the head but they don't do that here the all these enemies get stunned and i was trying to see if i could kill the chainsaw guy uh now that i have now that i have this gun to do um that i could just spray it and also, you know, do as much damage as possible. I'm not sure if you can kill him. I'm not sure. I felt like I was getting close, but I'm, I'm not sure if you can even kill him in this demo. You know, I hit him with the grenade. Um, I, I did switch to the shotgun and, you know, land some hits on him. It, it probably would, it would be easier to focus on him a little bit more if, if, uh, you know, if there weren't all these spawning enemies. And he did, I think he did go down at one point where he looked like he was dying, but yeah, he didn't actually die. Yeah, I thought I actually killed him right there. 
but I didn't. <laughs> he just got right back up. And unfortunately, the bell started to ring, so. And I don't know, it, it felt like the bell rung a little bit faster than usual. I think the, because I feel like the bell usually rings like after eight minutes. I don't know the actual time, but it seemed a little bit faster uh, this time around. Maybe because I caused enough damage on him, I'm not sure. But yeah, it seemed, I'm pretty sure that was way faster than than how how, how quick it usually rings. Y'all let me know. Um, or maybe I might look it up. Y'all let me know in the comment section uh, if you know how quick that bell usually rings and how fast this, this cutscene usually triggers. But yeah, that's how you get the TMP. Go try it out. Gun's great. Um, it's it definitely fun to use in this demo, at least. So that's it. Uh, I, listen, I, I beat before, before I found out how to get the TMP, I probably beat this demo like nine times. And I was like, okay, I'm done. There's no reason for me to, you know, as much as a Resident Evil fan as I am, there's no reason for me to play this demo again. And then I see this video about how to get the TMP. I'm like, well, here we go again, CJ. But yeah, that's it. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Where's everyone going? Bingo?